Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome to the Valder BB Show. Hopefully, hopefully your day is as sweet as mine because I've got a sweet guest for you. I've got Lauren Bolin and she's the spokesperson for the National Confectures, excuse me, Confectures Association. She's here with an online national survey on what America's favorite Hollywood Halloween candies are. Can't wait to hear that. Lauren Bolin, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time so much for having me and happy Halloween. All right then. And also we're going to talk a little bit how Americans are celebrating Halloween this year. So stay tuned. Okay. Love this survey. I love candy. Um, uh, my dentist doesn't love me to love candy, but I love candy. So I'm so excited to talk about the most popular candy of 2021. But first tell me about that survey. So we are so excited that Halloween is right around the corner, and so are so many Americans. We found that 93% of millennial parents say that they are making plans to celebrate Halloween this year, and 80% of people plan to trick-or-treat. So there are so many ways to celebrate Halloween, whether it's a classic night of trick-or-treat or even hopping into a virtual costume party. It's all about how we Halloween. Okay, did you find out or are you just going to tell us what is the most popular Halloween candy this year? Yes, so we have um, a survey done that shows us the top three candies this year for Halloween. And number one is chocolate. Americans love chocolate and so do I. So there is no surprise here that this is the number one spot. Second are gummies. Everybody loves a little creepy crawler gummy. It's perfect for the Halloween season and nice and spooky and always a good treat. And last but certainly not least is the always iconic and somewhat divisive candy corn. So people still love candy corn. It is still a hot item and it really just ushers in the Halloween season. Well, put me on the list for everything. Okay. Uh, (laughs) Tell me a little bit more how you guys are. You guys are doing Halloween a little bit different. You've got hashtag how we Halloween. Tell me about the Halloween season this year whether that's fun from a distance, Halloween at home, or something in between. It's a great way to spread a little bit of joy all throughout the fall season. And you can find more inspiration on alwaysatreat.com slash Halloween. How do you make Halloween safe in in a um, time in our society where you're suspicious of everything and everyone? That's a great question. I'm so glad you brought that up. I know earlier I said that 80% of people say that they plan to trick or treat. And actually recently the CDC came out um, saying that trick or treat is a great way to celebrate the Halloween season this year because it brings us outdoors. So trick or treating in smaller groups is a great way to still enjoy the Halloween season. But as always, we recommend that everyone follow their local state and federal guidelines and do what's best for you and your family and still have a little bit of fun. And those popular candies, will they be available in the supermarket stores? Because I'm seeing all these things on TV that everything's on the slow boat from China and we're not getting some things. So we can find our candy (laughs) in our local stores. That's a great question as well. So, you know, obviously everyone's dealing with the supply chain um, issues right now. But I think my biggest piece of advice is run, don't walk to go grab your Halloween candy this year. Our manufacturers are so excited for Halloween this year, so much so that a lot of your favorite treats were already out in the stores starting in August. So there are plenty of ways to um, to enjoy your favorite treats this year and make sure you're able to grab those. You know, last year we also saw an increase um, in online confectionery sales as well. So manufacturers are ready to meet, um, meet you where you feel most comfortable um, and give you the opportunity to think through which treats you want to buy. I want my audience to know that the National Confectioners Association is a trade organization. It promotes the unique role of chocolate, candy, and gum. My favorite kind of people. <laughs> Lauren, online, where can we get more information and be prepared for Halloween? 
Visit alwaysatreat.com slash Halloween for more inspiration on how to celebrate the Halloween season this year and find out some more fun facts. Well, I want to wish you a happy Halloween a little bit early. My audience also, too. You guys have a great time. And thanks for being my guest on the Velder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.